Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'd like to tell you how I was excommunicated from the Mormon Church. And that's been a long time, so I'll try and remember this as well as I can, okay? So, I was about 20 years old, 19, 20 years old, and I was living in San Diego. I was living in an apartment in the Claremont area of San Diego. And I had just moved there from Hollywood. That's right, I lived in Hollywood because I wanted to go to a music school there. But that didn't work out and I was broke and this and that and Dad came to the rescue. And um, he offered to borrow me about $4,000 so that I could start a small business. I had been thinking about, and I'm, I'm sure I'm skipping a few things here, but I'd been thinking about starting a carpet cleaning business because that's something that I could do and, you know, I, I've always been good at, at running my own business, you know, I had that in me anyway. And so, that happened and I was working by day and partying by night. I used to go to this bar called the the Pink Panther, down on Marina Boulevard. <laughs> and it was kind of a, it was kind of a punk bar, you know? But, um, in any case, one day, or one night, I received uh, a couple of missionaries at my door. I got a couple of missionaries, Mormon missionaries, at my door. And I promptly told them to leave <laughs> after they had told me that somebody in my family had recommended that they come over there and speak the gospel with me. And I was like, no, I don't want to talk to you guys, you know, and told them to leave. And I was like, I wonder who the hell that was. And I called my mom. I said, did you tell these guys to come over to my, uh, my apartment? And sure as shit, it was my mom. She figured that I needed some spiritual guidance or something, you know. And I was just, like, annoyed. I was just like, I do not want to be in the Mormon church. And so I wrote down this big letter, and it was fairly nasty, if I recall, stating all of the things why I thought that their religion was just crap and would you please excommunicate me? <laughs> and so a few weeks later I received a letter in the mail stating exactly that. We are, uh, we are approving your request and we are excommunicating you. Da -da 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 -da. And so, um, I can't remember if I saved that letter or not. I should have put it on the wall. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't groove with their religion or any other of the major religions. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't good things about them. But for me, personally, I don't groove with anything that's too flawed. And the bigger it is, the bigger of a religion it is, the more flawed it is. It's like the government. <laughs> and so I like to just have my own little private spirituality in which I take what I like and I leave the rest. And I know what's true within me. I know what's pure. And... And so I just try and adhere to those things as good as I can. And I know that I'm human and that that's never going to be perfect. So I want to thank you all for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are well. Bye.